So there's another film by Thomas Vinterberg that I'm going to check out. It's the film that won Best Foreign Picture at the Oscars this year, another round, uh, that also has uh, Mads Mikkelsen in it. Uh, but I wanted to watch this one first, and the plot and the premise just really intrigued me because I haven't really seen a film like this. Uh, and in a way, too, I'll explain it while I'm watching it, but the film, or while I'm reviewing it, or discussing it. Discussing it. Uh, but the film I'm talking about today is called The Hunt. Now, this is a very frustrating film if you've never seen it before. And I'm actually drinking a Baja Blast. Well, it's their uh, new freezy. I usually don't drink stuff in videos, but The Hunt. Now, uh, I really did go into this film not knowing much. I just knew the premise. Uh, and I watched a trailer. I actually think I skipped through the trailer whenever I watched it. But it's been sitting in our movie pile for, uh, say, about a month now. And we just decided to check it out. Uh, it's a good movie. It really is. It is a good movie. It's a very frustrating movie. Now, um, what this film is about, uh, it's about a kindergarten teacher. Um, and this kindergartner, uh, this little girl, sort of starts to spread these rumors about Mad Mickelson's character saying that he has done something very inappropriate now I won't you can fill in the blanks uh, and he is accused of this um, it's it's very you know it's one of those things it's a very touchy subject and I really do applaud the filmmakers for actually wanting to make this film I applaud the director for actually making it and I applaud Mads Mikkelsen for taking on this very um, different role uh, this very I would almost say controversial role um, now uh, Here's the thing, you know, the frustrating thing about the film, and it wasn't Mad Mickelson's character, and it wasn't the, the little girl that was accusing him, uh, you know, because you can understand why both of them are doing what they're doing, you know, because Mad Mickelson's character, you know, you can't blame him for the way that he's handling the situation, and, and uh, you know, like, you really do feel for him, and you can't blame the little girl because she's, you know, she's young, she's very young. Uh, a k kindergartner and you know like this stuff happens it, you know it's it's just it's a very touchy subject and I'm not going to go uh, deeper into that because you know like I just you know I don't really know exactly what to say in terms of like uh, a personal level but I guess from watching the film itself uh, the what I interpreted from it was you know like I guess this film was actually trying to portray I guess innocence you know because in a way if you think about it the film's not really trying to say much if it's not trying to portray innocence because um why else would you make a film like this i mean you would think that you would want to make a film like this or maybe a documentary uh you know especially this day and age sort of talking about this certain subject and sort of you know putting the kid in the situation to where you know they're like the ones telling the truth but this film does the complete opposite, and it's very daring in a way, and uh, that's what I mean by that. You know, it's just, um, I personally, you know, I can't I can't speak for it because I've never really known somebody in this situation that has, you know, been accused of doing something like this that didn't do it. Uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's just one of those situations that you don't really hear of too much, but I do applaud the filmmaker for wanting to, you know, tell the story because it really is one of those things where, being accused of something like that is very serious. It is. It's something that I just could not, excuse me, I could not imagine, uh, you know, myself or somebody else being accused of something like that that didn't do it because, you know, that is something that's kind of, it's wild. It's something that's very serious. Um, and it is frustrating uh, to watch this, this, this individual go through that. And also, I guess it being Mad, Mads Mikkelsen doesn't help, but... Uh, Mm, this is really good. Sorry, very unprofessional light. I was getting serious. Uh, what I was wanting to bring up at the be uh, very beginning of this discussion, uh, I was getting serious Silence of the Lambs sort of vibes with this film. I I, I don't know why. Uh, I I know <laughs> Mads Mikkelsen played Hannibal in the uh, the Hannibal show, but I really did. I don't know why. It really did just sort of give me that kind of like feeling. I don't know if it's because, because this film never really takes that true crime approach, per se. It it more so takes a very professional sort of a uh, professional approach to the storytelling. You know, like it really does sort of sort of it centers around sort of just this guy and what he's feeling. It never does take that true crime element with the police and 
uh, the investigating and, any, and everything like that. You are mainly just watching this guy. And when you're not watching this guy, you're either watching the little girl or you're watching um, his son. So yeah, it's it's a very personal film. Uh, you should just really check it out to sort of see what I'm uh, sort sort of see what I'm talking about. Um, and it even says on the uh, on the cover, the hunt, the lie is spreading. For some odd reason, I really couldn't imagine a film like this being made in the states. I guess this is sort of a. Uh, I think this film came out. I think it's a Denmark came out in Denmark. I think. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Wait a minute. Okay. It says sub. Okay. Yes. Danish. Okay. So uh, the language is Danish and the subtitles are English and Spanish. Okay. Cool. All right. Anyway. Uh, and the cinematography in this film is absolutely beautiful too. You had like the fall leaves and stuff. Sort of putting the story to the side. Um, has like the fall leaves and it's just very just pretty to look at but it's kind of gloomy and depressing at the same time i would really recommend checking out the hunt if you've not seen it yet you should definitely check it out if you've seen another round which i'm guessing another round you a lot of people probably have seen that film and uh maybe not have seen this because another round is sort of the big film you know it's the one that did win the big academy award but definitely check out the hunt whether you've seen that or not it's it's definitely worth it and if you're a fan of mads mickelson you should definitely check this out because this is probably one of my favorite performances with him. Um, I cannot, I, well, I can believe it actually that he's in the new Indiana Jones movie. That's going to be really cool. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this discussion. If you did, leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. I uh, hope you're staying safe out there and I'll see you guys next time.